Hey, so I decided to put Windows 8, uh, the beta, or what they call the consumer preview, onto my netbook. I have a Lenovo S10 III. Uh, it was announced two years ago. Uh, most of them have been manufactured uh, up until this point. Um, they make a tablet version of this called the S10 3T. Now, I only mention that because Windows 8 is supposed to be about tablets and netbooks and stuff like that. So, I've been playing with it a bit, and it looks gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie, it's a gorgeous looking interface, but that's not something I'm complimenting about Windows 8. That's, that's the Metro UI. So, uh... So, I guess a little bit of specs. This runs an N420 uh, Intel Atom processor. Uh, comes stock with 1 gig of RAM. It's upgraded to 2 on this thing. Um, 160 gigabyte hard drive, uh, not solid state. And the screen resolution, which you'll see in just a second why it's important, is 1024 by 600, which isn't a lot, which is less than. The cell phone I'm recording this on, but it's still a nice screen, and a lot of devices still use it. So, as you can see, it's got you know the little lock screen. Uh, it's obviously trying to go for like a device that's other than a computer. So, um, try just kicking it up. That's kind of hard with the uh, I'm using the trackpad there, but uh, it works. And there, there's the Metro UI. Uh, you can use the trackpad to go through it, but I prefer the keyboard, which is you know, a bit odd. But I mean, the trackpad isn't supposed to be for tablet use anyway. Um, apologize for all the smudge marks and stuff on my uh, netbook screen. But, um,. Something that is very important. Let's just go through the basics first. This is the start screen, and uh, this is the start screen rep has replaced the little start bar that would be down at the bottom left. You know the globe, or uh, if you're on Windows XP. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you'll get. We'll get to that in a sec. We'll get to that in a sec. Be patient, Windows. Piece of shit. So it's integrated to my Windows Live account. Um, I don't even have an Xbox, but I have a bunch of Xbox stuff on it, which is kind of weird. Messaging, as I said, this is geared towards phones and tablets and stuff. So if I don't feel like this is trying to be a computer anymore. It's honestly trying to be, you know, something else. Um... Right, so before I go and launch anything in this, let me get to the cream of the crop here. Uh, let's get, let's just go onto the desktop. And yeah, looks familiar. Looks almost exactly like Windows Seven because it is Windows Seven. Like seriously, it's just. An overlay for Windows 7. Uh, the only things that you see uh, besides your status bar and stuff is the recycle bin, IE, and file manager. But you don't see the little globe there anymore, do you? Nope. And yeah. You have to put your mouse over the bottom left to start it up. To go into the start function. The start function isn't the globe anymore, it's that screen again. You can Alt-Tab out of the P there's my PC settings, I had that up earlier. Uh, which, wow, why didn't it actually go into there? There you go, okay. Um, something really weird, I know this is probably something small, but you would think that you would actually be selecting, like it's like a phone or a tablet where it would be selecting overall, but I'm not familiar with the Metro UI. Uh, 
I already updated everything. Um, home group is there. You can sync your settings to your Windows device. It's kind of like Android being able to sync all your stuff together. Your PC, your Xbox, and stuff like that. Ease of access. This is... Th this isn't replacing the control panel. The control panel is still there. Uh, you see your wireless stuff, your devices, um... Something funny, uh... This... Th this actually scans through all the, uh... Media servers and stuff, which is actually something nice I like about it. But, um... Well, you'll see in a sec... Why it's fucking useless here. So the devices, you got your privacy settings. It's, uh, seriously, it's very basic stuff. App switching. Share. Search. Seriously, this it's trying to be like a device that's not a computer. Tablet. Stuff. I gotta say, it, it does look pretty though, for what I'm seeing so far. I can't... Can't lie about that. All right, now this is the first caveat that I got into. How do you think you get out of this? Because I haven't been able to find out how to get out of this. Here, let me show you. I'm pressing escape. Nothing's happening. See, backspace. Nothing's happening. There's no place. I I can't see visually on the screen. There is the start screen there, but the start screen is always there. So how? So I finally figured out how to do it right now. But that's your recent apps list. If you go to the top left, it shows your recent windows. You go to the bottom, that's your start screen. But how? How do? How do you figure this out? It's really stupid. And here's another thing that really pissed me off, but it's it's just a personal opinion. This is the file manager, Windows Explorer. You know, something is different. Yeah? Can you tell what's different? I'll give you a hint. Ribbon UI interface. God damn it, Microsoft. Everything you do revolves around that ribbon UI. I hate it. And here is the thing that really pisses me off. Let's go back into... Actually, let's try loading up a video, because... <laughs> um, Alright, the computer... There it is. There's my Tversity server on my main rig. Uh, let's see. Video. It's all. Let's just do, uh... This is a, uh, Better Call Saul. That's just an episode from Breaking Bad, so let's launch it up. And you get this. This app can't open. The screen resolution is too low for the video to run. Change your screen resolution. But my screen resolution is already maxed out. There's... Yeah. Basically, if your screen resolution is below 1024 by 768, you're screwed. Now, you can say, Nate... Computers from 2006 have better screen resolutions than that. But this is a netbook. This is the device that Windows 7 was trying to, you know, be good for. Which it did okay. Against the Windows 7. But Windows 8 is trying to improve. And this isn't... No. This doesn't work. None of this works. Everything in the... First off, everything doesn't work anyway. Um, so, let's go to the store. So, this can't, app can't open. Go to the maps. This app can't open. Go to the mail. This app can't open. I.e., I'm guessing it just launches it. No! I'm wrong! Can't open it. 
I don't even know what this is. Excellent. Can't open it. The people can't open it. Photos can't open it. Music can't open it. Videos we already know can't open it. SkyDrive still can't open it. Calendar you're fucked. Uh, weather screwed. Messaging I don't. Solitaire even work? No, solitaire doesn't work. Pinball. You're, you can't even do pinball. Oh, we know the desktop works. Xbox. Yeah, fuck you. Windows Explorer. Well, it's a good thing Windows Explorer works, because that's just the basic fucking operation of an operating system. Um, go back to this shit. Jesus Christ, I fucking hate this thing. Finance. Like, I like I'd even use that thing. No. Camera. Well, no. And it's remote desktop, yeah, you can go fuck yourself. So, basically, I've installed something completely fucking foobar on this device. I'm gonna go put Ubuntu back on this thing, but let this be a message to you that Windows 8 shouldn't be released this year if it can't run on your average netbook.